Hello YouTube, I'm Topman Brad and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use real world height maps in your 7 days to die game. I'll be using a website called Tangram Height Mapper to get the maps, then we'll be using the GIMP software to edit them, then we'll use King Gen to actually create the map. <laughs> First, let's find the website with the maps and uh, oh, it's already typed into my search results there. It's Tangram Height Mapper. It's the first option for me there. And here it is. Now, it's a little difficult to see what's going on at the moment because of this auto exposure. What that's doing is it's making the lowest points of the map black and the highest points white. So the bits in between are getting a little bit lost. To make it a bit easier to find our way around, all we need to do is go to where it says Map Lines and we can tick that and then we can see a slightly more conventional looking map. So this example, I'm going to use Australia to zoom in with the mouse wheel and make sure I've got the whole of the country in the screen. I'm going to turn off the map lines because I don't want to export the image with those lines on. That will just mess things up. And then I'm going to check that I can comfortably see land and water. If you find that your map is a little bit washed out and quite difficult to see, you can turn off auto exposure and input the maximum and minimum elevations that it shows. So I'm going to try that. If I turn off auto exposure, I've changed the values to 1700 for the maximum and minus 100 for the minimum. And that looks a little bit clearer for me to see. So if I'm happy with the map that we've got on the screen here, I just need to click on export. But I should point out that the resolution of the image that you're exporting here is governed by the resolution of your monitor. So my monitor is a 1080 by 1920. So I'm going to get an image that is 1920 wide and it won't quite be 1080 tall because of these borders. If you have a higher resolution monitor, you'll get a higher resolution image. So I'm going to click on export. Down on the bottom left hand side there, I can see it's exported a PNG file. I'm going to click on the arrow to say show in folder. And here it is. And then for ease, I'm going to rename that Australia. Well, we're here. Let's just have a quick look at somewhere else on the map. Now, this will be familiar to some of you. This is the western coast of America. And that little wiggly line there is the Grand Canyon. Let's go to zoom in on that. We'll have a look. So if you wanted to, you could export that view and make yourself a map based around the Grand Canyon. Well, we're finished with this now, so let's move over to the GIMP software to see about how we fix the map so it works in KingGen. This is the GIMP software, and I've already done an introductory video on this in uh, one of my other tutorials, and I'll put a link for that in the top right-hand side and in the description if you'd like to watch that. But from here, what we need to do is to import our new image. So let's go to File and say Open. I saved my image in downloads, so I need to go into users, my account, and downloads. And there should be one there called Australia. There it is. Open that up. Now, 7 Days to Die needs a square map, and as does the King Gen software. So we need to convert this from this uh, widescreen shape to a square. And the easiest way to do that is to go into image and then canvas size. And you can see there that mine is 1920 by 947. Now I want to make it square, so I need to reduce the width to the same as the height. So I'm just going to change that 1920 to uh, 947. Hit enter. And what it's showing me here is where it is going to cut, and it's not quite right. So I can just grab this image and slide it roughly into the right position, just there. And then we'll say resize. If I want to make an 8K world out of this map, I'm going to need to resize this image. And currently it's 947, but it needs to be for an 8K map, 8192. And I'll leave the numbers in the description because they, they are a little bit tricky to remember. So how do we do that? Well, we go into uh, the image, go down to scale image, and there you can see it's 947. We're just going to change that to 8192. If I click the next one, it'll update it to the same and then say scale. And then it's going to complain about the size of the image, but that's fine. We're not actually going to save this huge image. We're going to export it. You'll see in a minute. So I can hold control on the keyboard and use the mouse wheel to zoom out in the GIMP software. 
Now, it's been pointed out to me that there is an issue with having pure black on a height map. I personally haven't found any problems with that, but if you have, then here's a way to fix it. And it also is a way to level out your map if you find it's too hilly. It's just a very quick way of adjusting how dark black is and how light white is. It'll make sense in a second. If I go into colors and go to curves, we get this section here. Now, what this is showing us is that the lowest point on this map is black and the highest point on the map is white. Now, what we can do is we can move where black is effectively. We can make it a lighter color by dragging this. If you look at the other end of this line here, this is the highest parts um, that we would see in the world. So where white is, that is the absolute peaks, the highest point in our map. And what we can do here is we can change that. We can bring those that little bit lower. So if you want your hills to be slightly lower, you can just bring down this top slider. And conversely, if you want your lower ground points to be higher, you just pull up this one here. I'm going to leave mine set to 20 is the lowest point, but I'm going to keep the height at maximum and say OK. So while we're here, if we wanted to, we could start drawing in lakes and other mountain ranges if we wanted to. But I just want to leave it as close to the original as I can. So I'm just going to export that and then pull it into the King Gen software. And to do that, we'll need to go into the file menu. And it's not we're not going to save this one. We're actually going to say export as I've got the name Australia there. I want to choose where it's going. I'm going to save it into my King Gen folder. And I have a little map folder there called Australia. And we'll say export. And the key thing to note here is that you need to change this automatic pixel format to 8-bit gray. Then we'll click on export. And now we can move to the King Gen software. And the first thing I'll do here is go into advanced settings and make sure all the settings are reset to the defaults. Now I've covered these other sections in another video and the link for that again is in the description if you'd like to see that. But what we're interested in here is the custom height map. So say select. Let's find our Australia one. There it is. Open that up. I'm not going to change anything else. I'm just going to go back and generate the world to see how it turns out. It might need some adjustments, but let's see what it's like with completely default settings. And there we are. And that's not too bad. A the lower areas here, there are some lakes in Australia around there, but they're not quite this size. So I might want to change that. I could go back into the GIMP software and use the curves option and raise the black levels to flatten the image out a little bit more. Alternatively, let's try fixing it just using King Gen. Now there's a new feature being brought in for 11.1, .1, which allows us to adjust the height of water. So I'm going to try that out. Let's go into advanced settings. The water level defaults to 43. I'm going to try dropping that down to 35. That's all I've changed. We'll go back and regenerate the world and see how that looks. And there we are. We can see the lakes area is slightly smaller, but again, they are in the roughly the appropriate place. So I think I'd be happy with that. I could drop it a little bit lower and make those a little bit smaller. Now you might just be able to see here, I'll zoom in, that we have these steps, what look like steps appearing here. Now they will be visible in the world, in the game world, and they don't look great. And this is just something that's brought about by the resolution of the map that we've, we've brought in. But there is a fix for it. If I go back into advanced settings and choose height map smoothing, it's on none. If I put that to little and regenerate the world, there we are now if we zoom in. There, we should see that the steps are no longer visible. It's just smoothed them off that little bit. Now, if we actually want to play on this map, we need to put it in the right place so that the Seven Days to Die game can actually find it. So I need to open King Gen Worlds. And I didn't give this one a name. You can see there, I just left it at the default King Gen World. So I'm going to rename it here to Australia. Then I'm going to right click on it and cut it. Going back into King Gen, I'm going to open Seven Days to Die Worlds. And this is my generated worlds folder in Seven Days to Die. I'm just going to right click and say paste. So now all of the appropriate files are in the right place so that when we start Seven Days to Die, we can start a new game. And from the maps, we can choose Australia. Well, if you found this video useful, I would really appreciate a like and please subscribe if you'd like to find some other videos I do, Let's Plays of Seven Days to Die amongst many other games. And it would be great if you could join me in the Discord community too. The link to that is also in the description. Thanks very much for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.